Ladies and gents, welcome back. Another beautiful day out here, and today we are mixing it up a little bit. Uh, my client Tom, who I just did the uh, that Harley soft tail for, he has a Dodge Dakota pickup truck that uh, that needs a little bit of love. He hasn't been driving it much, um, so we are going to do a full service on it. I just went and picked up oil and all that good stuff. I want to pull the uh, the filter out, clean that, give it an oil change. Uh, I'm going to put it up on the ramps and see if there's any grease fittings or anything on the bottom. And if there is, we'll grease it up. And then I think we're going to wash it for them too because this thing is this is about the dirtiest, dirtiest Dodge Dakota I ever did see. Would you just look at the mold growing on this thing? My goodness. And there's bird poop on it and all that. So after we get the service all done, we will uh, we'll give her a little wash for them. And I think that'll go a long way. How about these wheels on here though, huh? Wheels are probably worth as much as the truck. <laughs> the interior is a little custom on this thing too. Or well, it's got a little pad and seat covers. That's about it. But it is a manual transmission. You don't see too many of those on the road anymore. All right, let's take a look at this, uh, this air filter. See how bad it is. Oh wow, <clears throat> that is not too bad at all. I'm pretty surprised. I thought that uh, it'd be really bad, but no, not too bad. Let's uh, let's check the engine oil real quick. Looks like it's about out. Well, looks like we're just in time. <laughs> it definitely needs an oil change. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty low. Well, it's actually not too bad down here. Drain plug is here, and then the uh, the filter is up there, so the engine's warm. We're gonna go ahead and drain the oil out of her. And this bolt is a uh, 5 8 All right, while the uh, oil's draining, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning this filter. And these filters are pretty easy to clean. They have special filter cleaner you spray on there and then you rinse the thing off and dry it and re-oil it. Pretty straightforward. I'm gonna try to get the shot without uh, dropping stuff on my head here, but I was kind of in a pinch here. I didn't have the correct oil filter uh, wrench and the socket style um, I was I just couldn't get it off so if you're in a pinch you can take a socket and a bigger oil filter ratchet wrench style and whoa that's what I was worried about um, yeah and that'll loosen it right up just slippery as all get out and of course when you put your new filter on you want to take a little bit of oil, put it around the rubber there, and then put some on the threads. I like to pre-fill the filters if it's going in a place where you're not going to spill it all over. Um, this one doesn't seem too bad, but uh, on some vehicles it's like mounted like that, and that makes it for a little bit tough to pre-fill. But if you have a vehicle with a turbo, like my truck, or actually my wife's car has a turbo as well, um, definitely have to pre-fill the uh the filter otherwise you can do some costly damage all right so he's uh had some issues with a sticky lifter and the engine running a little rough so we are going to put a little bars leak uh engine repair into it um i was going to get the uh stp stuff but uh, they were out of it and all the lucas stuff was that they had at least was fuel additive which i figure instead of it instead of doing that we're going to do a little sea foam in her i like sea foam a lot and i know it works oh my goodness one part thin one part super thick wow that should uh, 
that should smooth her right out. All right, now for the regular oil, and the, uh, the owner of the truck requested Castrol GTX, so Castrol GTX is what we're using. Well, John Force would just be proud of us right now. Not that this is a Ford, but I'm sure he likes Dodges too every once in a while. All right, let's see where we're at now. Oh, right in the old safe zone. We'll just top her off and make sure it goes to the tippity top because I have a feeling that uh, this thing uses a little bit of oil. All right, this bad boy has another problem. The uh, EVAP hose there is broken, so we need to reattach that. Right, so this is the old hose that they had uh, cobbled on there. So I'm gonna dig through my stuff and see what we got, see if we got some new stuff. All right guys, got her all cleaned up and the, uh, the challenge here is this side and this side are two different sizes. So I basically did what they had before, um, but I made it longer so hopefully it won't uh, crack and break like it did last time. But yeah, that should, that should do for now. All right, now that the uh, filter's dry, we're just gonna give her a fresh coat of oil. My goodness, boys, would you just look at that? She cleaned up pretty nice, huh? It's amazing what a little wash will do. Now, I didn't go too crazy, and obviously, the paint is in horrible condition, and it's wet, so that always makes everything look better, but I had to get that mold off there. That was kinda, kinda gross and green. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, that was a real simple service on the old Dakota here. Did an oil change, cleaned the air filter, fixed the uh, emission stuff, and I went around and I put all the tires, gave all the tires some air because one was at like 21, one was 27, real bad. So they're all 35 now. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I'm sure Tom will be real happy with it. And uh, like I said, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow on the next one.